as a PI, what kind of databases or systems do you have access to that those of us who are not PIs can't access? Um, for example, if you have someone's social security number or other unique identifying piece of information, what can you do with that as a PI? That's really a two-part question, so let's break it down. Part number one is, do private investigators have access to databases, top secret hidden databases that normal people don't have access to? In a way, yes. We have access to databases as private investigators. Um, I'm not going to go into the different databases we use, but I will tell you that they all require you to be licensed and go through uh, a checklist to be approved to access the data. I will also tell you that the data is nothing special. Um, it's an aggregation of a lot of information from around what we would call the deep web, stuff that's not easily accessible by Google. So it'll have tax assessor records, court records that are in you know, court files, those kind of things. Um, it doesn't give us access to banking information and stuff like that. That is strictly off limits. As far as what we can do with a personal identifier, such as um, you mentioned the social security number. The social security number works as a shortcut for us in our databases. If I have a full social, uh, including the last four, I can type that into the database and bam, I've got all of the information available on that person in that database. All the database does is it provides a shortcut for investigators to know where to dig deeper. It doesn't provide us with anything special, anything particularly um, useful um, other than a roadmap to know where to go look to find the really good information. So for instance, if I run a database search and I see someone has um, nine criminal convictions in six different counties, I know that I need to go to each one of those counties, first search the website, if there's nothing there, then call the county court clerk and ask them to do a search on that person's name. A lot of times, um, for example, if you have uh, Bill Smith, you might find a bunch of false positives for Bill Smith. It's a very common name. So you might see 15 criminal records for Bill Smith, but there's a real good chance none of those are going to be your Bill Smith. Um, the other thing a social security number and other personal identifiers such as date of birth, um, last known address, telephone number, those are all personal identifiers. Uh, they let you narrow your search down and clearly define uh, the person's age or age range, um, their race, their sex, kind of who they are. That way you can go search the internet, search the web, deep web and surface web for information about that person. Uh, it lets you go to social media, you know, kind of how old they are and, and what kind of things they might be involved in based on their age range. Um, the databases really are just a shortcut to help investigators know where to go look for more information. Mm -hmm.